Hello, this is Donna Lewis again. You can tell it's a little windy out here today with the Clark County Park District. And for Nature's Book Nook today, we are going to read Snail Trail. And this is written and illustrated by Ruth Brown. It's a really cute, simple book for kids. And we even have our friend here today. If I can find him, he is slimy. I can't even get a hold of him. Okay, we have our friend here today. Oh yeah, Mr. Snail. Mm -hmm. So he's going to, are you gonna help? All right, he's gonna help read the book today. He's gonna join us for book reading time, okay? Snail's kind of quiet and shy, so he's not gonna talk, but he's gonna help us read the book. So Snail Trail, okay? Let's see if I can hold Snail and read the book at the same time, okay? Slimy Snail set out on a trail one bright and sunny morning oh it was so bright and sunny and he just very slowly moving along right okay he went up a hill oh up a hill he went up a hill it was very steep so he sets out one morning in the sun look at that cute little snail Oh, he's so cute. All right. Then he goes up a hill and it's very steep. Oh, oh man. It's hard to get up there. Okay. Through a tunnel. Oh, through a tunnel. Very gloomy. He can't see very good in that tunnel. All right. So he goes through a tunnel. Very gloomy. into a forest oh it's very quiet oh and pretty he's looking at all the trees very quiet in the forest over a bridge okay over a bridge very high whoa very whoa he says no very high so what's his bridge? It looks like it's a piece of a plant. The snails are not this big, right? They're pretty small. So he goes over this bridge, which is actually a plant. I love these pictures. Down a slope. Oh no, very slippery. Woo, he goes down the slope. Ah. Okay, he's shy, but he liked that, yeah. So he goes down a slope, very slippery. Okay, we're getting through this, okay. Up to an arch. Okay, he goes up to an arch. What's that arch made out of? Whoa, very narrow. He can't hardly fit through, it's very narrow. Oh gosh, for him to get through. What is that arch? Maybe something that you use to work in your garden? Like a garden stake? Pitchfork, that's the word I was looking for has some flowers very pretty so he passes by some flowers ooh, ooh. he's trying to smell them okay we have to tell mr. snail that these are only in a book okay right so he goes past some flowers oh he likes the flowers what are those flowers on they're on seed packets so they're not real flowers but a snail could find real flowers in the forest right and this looks like it's right out somebody's backyard in their garden and into a dark dark cave so then he goes into a dark dark cave so he goes into a dark dark cave now what is that whoa what is that Sam hmm maybe a bag where they kept seeds or something a feed bag okay he curled up in his shell Ooh, can't hold on to my hair today. He curled up in his shell. Oh, curled up in his shell. Very small. So let's see if we can get him in here. He's going to curl up in his shell. Oh, there he is. Okay, he's going to curl up in his shell. Very small. And very soon was asleep. So there he is. He's fast asleep now. Oh. Now he's sleeping, okay? So there is his trail. We'll let Snail sleep here. So there's his trail, okay, of where he went. 
all okay so he started here and he went all around here so it looks like it was in somebody's garden shed right so he it took him a while to get around the garden shed because he's such a small snail and they move kind of slow but you can follow a snail's other critters can follow their trail of slime because they leave slime behind well thank you that is the end thank you oh he woke back up i i think i'm talking too loud oh he's tired okay thank you for joining us for the nature book nook today i hope you enjoyed snail trail look for this online or in your local library okay hopefully the new carlisle library has this i'll have to talk to miss maggie and see if they have this book all right everybody enjoy your day it suddenly got really nice as the sun went down today thank you bye bye